This is Delta Tango Mike coming at you one more time with the Thriving Artist Art Life Short. So it's uh, today is the 9th. I think it's the 9th. Yeah, it's already January 9th. It's 2020. So it's time to start now. Whatever it is that you want to do with your life, with your career, with your talent, with your uh, art, it's time to start it now. So I just want to talk about uh, a little bit about why do artists or why do I or why some of us artists draw daily, right? We draw every day. And if you check out my Instagram, my Twitter, my Behance, you'll notice that I'm constantly posting something, posting some kind of artwork, some kind of sketch, some kind of project. And uh, I've gotten used to it, right? I grew up drawing all the time. Drawing has been my passion. Drawing has been that thing that uh where i'm able to feel creative feel in charge no matter what's going on in my life no matter what situation i'm in no matter who I, where i am or who's around me i can lay out the piece of paper get a pencil and lose myself in my in a whole new world that is my reason for myself but uh yesterday i was having a conversation with an emerging artist and uh in that drawing um, was the answer to one of the discussions that we were having. And uh, so I wanted to share that part with you. So when, uh, when you start off in a long time ago, I had, I had was in the same place. All artists find their way little by little and have the same situations and questions is that, and this is where the emerging artist is, and that's where I was a long time ago, was you're trying to figure out, well, if you're going to have a career in art and you're going to, get charged for your work and look for clients. Well, what kind of art should you focus on? What should you be drawing more of? What should your portfolio show? And, uh, and so there's a lot of answers to that, but the real answer should come from the artist himself. So you, the, as the artist, me as the artist, I need to figure out, well, what kind of art do I like? What kind of stuff do I like to draw? and then find the niche where that fits and find the market to build my community, build my clientele, and, uh, and then have a successful art career. Sounds simple. But when you don't have um, a, the answer that, that comes to you in your head, then you look back at your artwork for that answer. And so one of my answers was, well, if you draw 10 drawings and just anything you feel like, draw 10 drawings, anything you feel like, Look at those drawings and then find the things that you draw more of. If there's four or five drawings that, that have that are centered on something in particular, then that's what that's what you like to draw. When you draw 100 drawings and you look back at those 100 drawings, and say, oh, snap, there's like 80 drawings of this particular thing. Then then, you know, that's what you like to draw. But until you have those 10 drawings, until you have those 100 drawings, you won't know. You can guess you can. Uh, have an imagination about it. You can feel good about it and talk about it, but until you have actual drawings to look at, you won't be able to um, uh, have the answer as to what moves you, what do you like. And so in my experience, I like skulls. So they have a ton of skulls and maybe we can turn and look all the way over there. My office is still a little crazy looking. So I got some skulls up there. I got some Star Wars stuff over there. The point, and then some Aztec artwork up there, way over there, right? Some Aztec artwork. So the thing, so for me, it was real easy to figure out, well, what kind of art do I like? Because I was drawing a lot of skulls all the time. I was drawing Aztec artwork all the time. And so then it, I funneled that knowledge of what I like to do with, well, how do I explain this about myself with, well, what kind of projects can I build and put together that will show off this talent, show off my storytelling, and then I can have a portfolio that I can attract clients. And of course, my portfolio is not full of skulls, but it is, has a lot of Aztec stuff. And it's really not about the Aztec that I'm selling. It's more about the level of talent that it takes to put some kind of some of those projects together. And, uh, and I'm not reserving my talent just for Aztec stuff because as you can tell, I, I finished uh, the alphabet book, which I'm still tweaking so I can have a public, uh, uh, published uh, coloring book. The point is that when you look back at your artwork, you're able to then see what comes out of you naturally. And then you start to put the things in motion, the steps 
and the business around it so that you can have a creative career. But that doesn't happen until you start drawing, which is why we always say, and I always say, draw daily. Draw all the time, draw several times a day. I had a different meeting yesterday with another emerging artist. Oh, actually, she's, a, she's already deep into her career. We were having a meeting, and as we we're talking, she was sitting there sketching. Some of us can't stop ourselves. This is our natural order to our lives. It's like breathing. I couldn't go a day without drawing. That's just what I do. That's my thing. You got to make it your thing. You got to start now. You got to start sketching. You got to start drawing. And then slowly the realization about what do you want? What do you like is going to show up in the artwork. This is Delta Tango Mike. Follow me, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. I'm trying to remember all the places I'm in. And Patreon if you want to learn more about digital drawing and growing your creative art career. Talk to you later and see you next time. Peace.